Hi everyone, it's your girl lady Vintage Bagsy and today I'm going to show you how to polish your vintage Louis Vuitton hardware to get it nice and shiny and reflective like this. And all we're going to be using are these four things. So first up is the Blue Cream Metal Polish. Shout out to Mel, a purse on fleek for introducing me to this product in one of her videos. And we're going to be applying it using a Q-tip just have some water wipes or any brand fragrance-free baby wipes on the side just so that you can wipe off any excess. And we're going to finish up with just a standard polishing cloth. This is just a standard jewelry polishing cloth, nothing special. And this I just got off Amazon Australia. So for all the Aussies out there, it's really easy to get. I only paid like $16 for it on Amazon Australia. So this is what the bag used to look like. And this is what the bag looks like now. Look at that shiny reflective beautifully polished hardware and actually i haven't even used the polishing cloth on it yet this is just the blue cream polish only so far i'm going to polish it at the end and what i also have for you is some examples of other bags that i polish the hardware of today as before and afters too so let's take a look Okay, so let's get straight into it. So all I'm doing is getting some of that blue polish, putting it on the Q-tip and just start rubbing it directly onto the hardware. So you can see it does come out blue. And when you start rubbing it onto the hardware, you can see immediately the hardware starts becoming lighter as it abrades off that layer of oxidation or tarnishing on the hardware. Now, the great thing I love about this compared to Brasso, which is another popular product people recommend for Louis Vuitton, is that this is a cream. So it's much easier to handle compared to Brasso, which is a liquid. So Brasso can run a lot easier, meaning you have a higher chance of it going onto your leather, whereas it's easier to manage the blue polish cream. Also, Brasso really stinks whereas the blue polish cream has a much lighter smell so you don't feel like you're gassing yourself out when you're cleaning your hardware. So you can see here the oxidation starts to turn black and you can see that cream turning black on the hardware too. So I'm just wiping that off with a paper towel. I couldn't find the water wipe at the time so I just grabbed a paper towel. doesn't matter if you're using the water wipe or paper towel, that's fine. If you do get any of that on the leather, you do want to be wiping it off with your water wipe or any fragrance free brand wipe. You don't want to be leaving that polish cream on the leather at all. So just keep using your Q-tips, replacing it as they get used up. You'll see the Q-tip does turn black as you go. You do have to do a few more rounds because as you clean it off, you do another round, it gets better and better and better. It's unlikely you're going to get it all done in one round. It is kind of hard doing it around the rivets. That does take a bit more patience. So I ended up doing this for about 20 minutes in total for this S lock here. And that's not a particularly huge surface as well. So as you can see, it does take a bit of time, patience and elbow grease. But that's the same with any of the other methods, whether you're doing just a plain polishing cloth, whether you're using Brasso or this cream. You just want to take it slow, be a little bit meticulous when you're doing it and just take your time and just enjoy the process while you watch your hardware go from dull to shiny. So I use 16 Q-tips, one water wipe, one napkin, and that was what I used to polish the hardware from four bags. So not too bad. It did take about 40 minutes all up to do the four bags, and about half the time was used on that one bag for that one S-lock only. Okay, so the final step is to now use my polishing cloth on the hardware. So this is just a standard jewelry polishing cloth. The cleaning side is this light side and then I'm going to buff it with this blue side. And we're going to do it next to my dog who's sleeping. So if you hear snoring, that's why. Okay, so here's the hardware. So it's already pretty clean from the blue cream, but we're just going to get this cleaning side. And let's give it a good rub. 
I think the blue cream did such a good job that this polishing cloth is not really going to improve it all that much. So you can see some tarnishing is still coming off. I guess when it comes to cleaning the hardware, there's a perpetual room for improvement. You can always polish more and more and more. I only polish about once every two or three years because I don't want to strip too much of that top layer of the hardware off. I don't want to end up silvering the hardware by accident because I really don't like it when it goes silver, if it's supposed to be gold hardware. Okay, and now the buffing side. Okay, there's the final product. So it was already pretty good, just like a real smidge improvement with the polishing cloth. And that's really because that blue, that blue cream did such a good job that the polishing cloth probably wasn't even needed in the end. But still, every little bit of extra shine helps. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. I'll see you next time. Bye.